my name is Ethan Powers. I'm a lineman for Decatur Utilities, and this is Eli Bryant. He's an apprentice. Um, we're here today to do safety in a flash. It's a demonstration to show everybody what the precautions they need to take with down power lines and hip holes and uh, things of that nature. So as linemen, we're able to work on the power lines. We use uh, different types of materials and tools. Um, we have these rubber gloves here, and these are our lives. We, uh, we check these daily. Um, all it is is just a basic rubber glove with a protector, okay? Um, this allows us to go up there and touch the wires and uh, to do work safely. We also have insulated tools, um, such as fiberglass sticks, fiberglass ladders. Um, we have insulated bucket trucks that helps us get up in the air. All right, this is the overhead power lines that we work on. Usually the voltage is around 7,200 to 2,400. 7,200 is from phase to ground, 2,400 is phase to ground. Phase to phase is 12,470. And then this is an overhead transformer. The voltage for it is 7,200 coming in, 120, 240, and so on. Um, this little box represents a pad mount transformer that's for underground power. Don't play on them, don't jump on them because there is power actually running through them. All right, uh, everybody here has seen one of these before. It's your basic wall outlet. Um, a lot of people have smaller, uh, younger brothers and sisters. Um, you know, your parents always tell you not to stick a fork or play with the sockets or anything like that. You got to be careful, okay? Um, if you don't, you could be electrocuted. Let's say I was to take this paper clip here. We got a small paper clip stuck in this socket, and I was to stick it in there. All right, this here's our buddy. This is Neon Leon. Uh, he's having a bad hair day. One of them reasons is because he stuck this paper clip in this wall outlet, okay? So here we're gonna show you what could happen if you were to stick something into an outlet. All right, right here we have electricity flowing from the paper clip through his arm, across his body, all his vital organs, his heart, everything, and down out through his leg. And the reason that is, is electricity always tries to find a path to ground. And it's gonna take the path of least resistance, okay? Well, that path happens to be through his body. All right, this is an aluminum ladder. Everybody sees these around their house. The thing to be worried with is power lines. You don't want to, like the same with Neon Leon, you don't want to pat the ground with it. With an aluminum ladder, you will get a pat the ground. So if you actually lean it on your power line going some, you know, to your house, it will come energized. All right, so you gotta be careful. Your parents get on top of the roof, uh, you know, cleaning gutters or uh, hanging Christmas lights, uh, things of that nature. Um, you gotta look out for them too, okay? You gotta stay away from the service wires or, or the overhead lines. All right, here we're gonna do a demonstration. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, like to climb trees. You know, I used to do that a lot too, but you gotta be careful. If you was climbing the top of that tree and a branch was to sway over and touch the power line, um, you know, Wood is a conductor of electricity and, and same thing, that, that tree has roots in the ground and electricity is always going to try to find a path to ground, okay? Now you can't hear it and you can't see it right now, right? But if I move it off, you can kind of see it buzzing right there and smoking, all right? So you got to be careful. Just because you can't see it or hear it doesn't mean that it's not energized. Same thing works for down power lines as well. You never know and the best thing to do is just Step away from it. Um, if, a, if a tree limb fell on the line or a, a pipe down power line, call for 911 or the utility, okay? okay. All right, here we're gonna have a representation of a car that slid off the side of the road and, and hit one of the poles. Um, it knocked one of the lines loose and this line is draped across the car, okay? Right now, you can't see anything, you can't hear anything. Uh, once again, it doesn't mean that it's de-energized or if it's energized, okay? Um, it's going to be very hard for somebody to tell and your safest bet is to stay in the car. The only time you should get out of the car is if the car catches on fire and you have no other option, okay? And if you do go to exit the vehicle, all you want to do is open the door with both feet still inside and you want to put your feet together and jump like a frog or a rabbit, okay? 
and just keep moving. Um, electricity, when it hits the ground, it's kind of like a, a ripple effect. You throw a rock into the water and the ripples go out. Um, if you do that twice, no two ripples will ever be the same, right? So you just want to keep moving and get as far away as possible. It, let's say the lines fell across the car and the car is not on fire. Your best option is to stay inside and just call for help, okay? And wait till somebody arrives and tells you that it's safe to exit the vehicle. These are balloons. Everybody's got them at the birthday party. The biggest thing for us is when you let them go, they end up getting hung up in our power lines and then we have to go take them off because current actually does, it will go through this balloon that we're about to show you how it does that. Well, that's a big danger. If you need to get rid of those balloons, pop them, put them in your garbage. Try not to just let them go. Also, kites, if you're flying a kite at home, it'll do the same thing. You know, electricity is always looking for the easiest path to ground. So if you're flying your kite, you get it caught up in the power line, just let go of the kite rope, call DU, and we'll come get it down for you. All right, everybody knows what this is here. This is your pole overhead transformer. Uh, a lot of people probably have these in their yard. This is called a guy, a down guy. Um, we have these little yellow markers on them. Um, everybody likes to run over there and grab them and shake them and play with them or throw this marker up and down. Um, man, you don't want to do that. Um, if something was to come loose and slap over and touch something that it wasn't supposed to, uh, this guy rod is actually in the ground. And once again, I've said this a bunch, but electricity is going to take a uh, path of least resistance and find the path to ground, and that's straight to it, okay? So just be careful. All right, now we're going to talk about power outages. Uh, everybody thinks, you know, storms, things of that nature, and that, you know, that causes a bunch of power outages. But would you believe what the number one cause of outages for us are? It's actually this little fuzzy guy right here on this box. Squirrels. And squirrels cause more problems for us than you can imagine. They're all the time climbing up here on top of the pole. Uh, you know, they touch something they're not supposed to and get electrocuted, or, you know, they got to hide acorns and nuts, things of that nature. And there's, Lots of little small nooks and crannies up here for them to go up there and try to hide stuff for later, all right? Um, you know, storms, uh, you know, lightning, wind, uh, trees falling, um, like I said, car hit poles, um, things just burning up and going bad. Um, they're all different types of power outages. Um, here we're going to do a demonstration um, for a house fire. Um, let's say your service wire gets knocked down from the back of your house, uh, but you still have lights. You know, you think, oh, I'm good, I still got power, right? Well, you got to be careful. If that line's down, man, you got to call us. Um, don't go outside and touch it. Don't try to help us. Just wait on us to get there, okay? Um, here, like I say, the service wire running to the pole, it's fell down, lights are still on, right? Well, if we don't get there in a timely manner and try to get repairs made, it could possibly lead to a house fire. <laughs> so, like I said, this was just a small demonstration. I uh, hope everybody learned something from it. Always remember, uh, stay away from down power lines. Uh, if the power line falls on the car, stay in the car, call for help, call 911, call the utility. Uh, somebody's on the way, I promise. The only time you should get out of the car is if the car catches on fire. And remember the procedure to exit the vehicle, both feet together, don't touch the vehicle on the ground at the same time, okay? Um, be careful on top of uh, roofs, ladders, uh, climbing trees. Watch out for these guy markers. Uh, these boxes here, these underground transformers, you know, you don't want to play hide and go seek or jump on top of them or anything like that, all right? Just always be careful, uh, you know, your basic wall sockets, okay? Uh, a lot of people have small uh, younger brothers and sisters. Um, you got to look out for them and you got to help me look out for your parents too, okay? All right, I hope everybody got something from this and uh, everybody remember to just stay safe.